All right, you got it. Max speed. <laughs> we bought this Ford Ranger for $500, and soon we'll be racing through the deserts of Mexico in the Nora 500. But before we do that, we need to make some major upgrades in order to survive. Yeah, in the last video, we upgraded the suspension, as you may be able to see. And as much as we would love to take the truck to the desert right now and see how good that new suspension is, eh, we'd probably need the truck to be able to stop. Yeah, so to do that, we bought this. Willwood front and rear brake kit, along with some other braking accessories for a grand total of $5,000. We're also upgrading our wheels and tires and plan to add some more power at some point. So to handle all that extra force, we have to upgrade our front hubs and knuckles as well as our rear end. Once we get our new brakes installed, we'll take it back to California City to test them alongside our new wheels and tires and the suspension that we installed last week. So what do you say? Let's install this stuff so we can head to the desert. Let's do it. Okay, quick plan of attack. We'll need to prepare our new axles and hubs. Then we'll put the calipers and rotors on the rear axle. Then go to the front. We need to put a brake portioning valve somewhere in the engine bay and plumb the lines from that valve to the calipers that we install. We're gonna be putting a lot of force on these things, so we're gonna try to make sure they don't break. So we've got some beefy components here, axles, hubs, knuckles, the whole thing. So we got Dean, and Dean knows how to do this stuff, so he's gonna help us finish up in the time that we have left. We gotta get cracking. We got this Camberg Racing rear end. A lot of the time, you have to buy your brakes, axles, differential, and housing all separate, but Camberg actually sells these as complete packages, which takes a lot of the work off our hands. We're getting this axle all checked out, make sure our axle lengths are correct. I have these axles sitting around at my place, so hopefully they're the same thing. The odds of the axles fitting are about 98, 99%. As long as you use the tape measure right, we should be good. So what we got here is a 10 inch Evan Weller third member. And this third member, it runs what it's called a spool. Both axles will spin at the same time. There is no slip. It's just all power to the ground all the time. On the money. We've got knuckles for the Ranger because they're big, they're strong, they're beefy, they're from a four wheel drive truck. So they're built for heavy duty stuff. This is not a perfect bolt-in solution though. This line right here, we gotta cut all this stuff off so it works with the kit that we have. Got a cutting wheel, gonna give that a shot and uh, just lop all that stuff off. Well, that didn't work. So uh, while modifying these knuckles here, I did go a little overboard with the cutting wheel. Uh, cut in just past, you know. Um, it happens when you're cutting 90 degrees two ways, you know. I don't know. Yeah, dude. Not to you, I guess. I don't. Since Job's the master. I would never say that. I want to fill this up. It's not structural at all, so I, it's not like a safety concern. It's just more of cosmetics. I want to fill this in with some wire, some welds, and then sand it off, make it look nice before we go ahead and paint it. Hell yeah. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> but I'm gonna, you know. Wait, you're already done? Well, yeah, I filled Whoa. it in. It does not look good, Joby. But uh, you know, a grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't, right? Heard that, buddy, heard All that. Right. This just in. Today's sponsor, Onyx Off-Road, is letting you try the app for free. That's right, free for seven days. Get access to thousands of trails with insanely detailed information like current conditions, open close dates, elevation, difficulty, and more. You can even plan or build routes in 3D and share them with your buddies. We love using Onyx at Dona, and if you love it too, you can upgrade to an elite membership, unlocking a bunch of features like public and private land data and exclusive discounts from top brands like Fox, Warren, Method, and more. Plus, for a limited time, Onyx is giving you a free beanie when you purchase an elite membership. A free trial, a free beanie, who doesn't love free? Download the Onyx Off-Road app right now to start your free seven-day trial today. And click the link below to claim your free beanie with an elite membership. That's it for today's breaking news. Now, back to the Ranger. All right, it's time to slap this stuff together and see if we've got the clearance we need to have brakes. Uh, yeah. Clears. I believe this 
needs to go on the back of that red anodized piece. Hopefully we don't have to take it off to do that. So here we go. Clears the hub. <gasps> it doesn't go over it. Oh, oh. Oh, is oh. it like a little puzzle? Oh, oh. Oh. That was gonna suck. <laughs> that didn't go. That was gonna really suck, Job. All those years playing Uncharted really paid off. That was some adventure puzzle shit. This is a pretty big freaking rotor. Pretty massive Willwood four piston uh, caliper as well. I mean, the clamping force on these wheels is gonna be awesome. And we need a lot of braking power since we're putting 37 inch tires on this thing. That's a lot of rotational mass. The wheels and tires together weigh 120 pounds. And you know, when you're going, let's say hundred miles an hour, that has a lot of momentum going around the circle. So you need to clamp down as hard as you can. And I think these wheel words are gonna help us get it done. Just a little bit, a little dabble do ya. Just applying some anti-seize on the back of the brake pads here, just to keep the system from binding up and squeaking, making noise, better braking operation. That is something you should really be doing uh, on your daily driver for sure, and will only make the Baja Blaster that much better to drive. So satisfying, it's notched out, so just boop, stays right there. Willwood rules, dude. Well, Nolly, what do we think? How's it coming? All right, well, the rear brakes are done. They're not plumbed up or anything. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But, but the cool stuff's done. The cool stuff is done. The biggest change that we are getting with this Willwood system is that we're going from a drum brake system that came on the truck stock to a disc brake system, a pretty beefy one at that, yeah. Job. Disc brakes are pretty much better than drums in every respect. Some recent vehicles still come with drums on the rear. That's a proven system. Yeah. They're cheap to manufacture, yeah. but you can't beat a disc brake. Yeah, not here. to mention the steez that comes along with That's it. That's right, buddy. Looks great, dude. Thanks. And to be clear, our upgraded brakes will disperse heat better, be more responsive, and more reliable. However, they won't directly help us stop faster. That's more of a feature of our new tires. We got tires, 37 inches tall, and we got some Raceline Rhinos. It's forged, so it's gonna be super strong, and it's a bead lock to physically grab onto the tire and keep it on the wheel without blowing the beads off so we can run super low pressures and get out of any tricky situations. They're gonna be huge, they're gonna be heavy, and they're gonna look great. We just have to put them together, which means about a thousand bolts need to go into these wheels, so. I've got many hands, boys. Hey. Those, them things are dirty, dude. Give me them clean <laughs> wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Look at that. Oh my god, dude. The difference. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. You versus the guy she tells yeah. you not to worry about, am I right? Alright, I mean, this truck was pretty fun to wheel in a stock form. It was like pretty capable. Now just seeing like the sheer size difference gives you a really good idea of like how capable the truck's gonna be when it's not only fully completed, but even just with the suspension system that we have on there and these tires, it's gonna be able to take much bigger bumps. And also with these really big blocky tires here, I think that river wash is gonna be uh, pretty fun now. Let's continue with the build. All right, so we've got a proportioning valve here from Willwood. This is a pretty nifty bit of kit and it's pretty simple. The way it works is it's got two inlets, one for the front axle, one for the rear axle for your brake power coming out of the master cylinder. This knob here modulates how much brake fluid can get through to the rear axle. And by changing that amount, you affect the bias overall. If you dial out braking in the rear, well, you've got more front bias. If you dial up braking in the rear, you've got less front bias. So it's pretty simple. You just gotta make a couple lines, get a couple fittings on here, and then we'll be dialed in. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to wonder if this is the right fitting. Just trying to thread in this fitting for one of the front output lines from the proportioning valve and for the life of me I can't get it started. I thought that I was pretty sure this is the right fitting but starting to think might be wrong. Of the, video. the theme of the video and all the videos and our lives thus far. We've got cool brakes, but I can't find the hardware with which to install them. So I'm gonna keep looking and uh, yeah, maybe have to go buy some more bolts.
So we have our cables here. Uh, we've got a few of them. <laughs> Adam is currently at the King of Hammers. He's the one who ordered all these and devised the braking system, uh, but he did not leave us a drawing or any sort of schematics or a heads up or, you know, like, hey, here's, a, here's what I was thinking. I think we can figure it out. I think we can do it. It's only brakes on a race car. It's fine. So we're replacing our original hard lines from the factory with these longer braided lines. They're more durable uh, and they're longer, which we need because now we have a lot more suspension travel, so our brakes are gonna be further away from the truck than they used to be. We need some extra line to make that work. So that's what these are gonna do. They'll give us plenty of clearance, plenty of travel, and they're very tough, so even if they do rub on something, which we're gonna try to avoid, they won't immediately blow apart. So it's also gonna be more resistant to bulging, which the stock rubber lines would have been, especially as they they get older and degrade, when you put a bunch of pressure on the brake pedal, you can bulge those lines and then your pressure is going into the line rather than into your brakes and slowing you down. We won't have that problem with these. No matter how hard we're pushing on the pedal, all the pressure is going straight to the caliper to slow this thing down. Woo! Hever saves the day again with some fittings and lines because as usual, we're missing a bunch of stuff. But now we're back in business, right? No more trips to the hardware store, right guys? All right, the brakes are officially on the truck, Joby. We yes. just gotta bleed them. And then head to the desert for some dessert. <laughs> hey, it's me from the future. Now before we hit the desert, I wanted to show you a new shirt that we made specifically for the Baja Blaster. You can see it's got the ranger on there ripping through the desert, and there's even a little frog trying not to get run over. It's available in washed black and natural, and we even made a long sleeve version for those chilly desert nights. And what's more, we're also releasing a new sticker and a new brown logo hat. Get it all now at DonutMedia.com and give it the beans! Back at the CCTTDD. What does that stand for? California City Trophy Truck Donut Drone. Perfect. We have four different scenarios set up to test all of our upgrades. We have a straight line speed test, a braking and cornering test, a loose wash traction test, and finally, a whoop section. That means jumps. To see how much the weight has affected the acceleration and power of our truck, we're starting off with our zero to 60 test. We've set up the same half mile course here. Last time we hit 34.9 seconds, so we got a stopwatch here. We're gonna see what Justin can do now. What do you think? Slower? I think, hmm, yeah. All right, Justin, as long as you feel like we're not about to explode, uh, you're good to go. Yeah, we're checking it out. I felt the vibration and we're getting a little bit of smoke, so let me just diagnose the smoke. Oh, sick. Okay, well, let us know. I guess he's got a vibration and a little bit of smoke. And he said he thinks it's the drive shaft. That drive shaft is perilously close to the gas tank, which is one of the few things we really don't want to rip open. Or have smoke. Yeah. Okay, it should just be off the exhaust. We're good to go. Okay, on go. Three, two, one, go! Speed, Looks like he's hauling. Look at that. Oh my god, this feels horrible, but it feels faster somehow. 30 seconds. Wow. 30.78 seconds. So the extra grip from the tires That's overcame the added weight. weight and got us across the line almost five That's seconds actually faster. That's incredible. It's pretty cool. Something's making noise. I think that's the drive shaft. That was the scariest. The scariest 30 seconds of my life. Really? The carrier is absolutely gone. Our drive shaft support is completely gone. It carries the drive shaft, just kind of gives us some support in the middle, keeps it from doing a bunch of this. And it's not happy with the angle things are at, and uh, uh, it has left the chat, which isn't great. You gonna go grab the part? I'll go, we'll go get it, yeah. Got two of them, not sure which one we need. One of them was a lot more expensive than the other. Stupendous. Yes. One should work. Yep. For now, this is, neither one of these is long for this world, I think. So this drive shaft is a stock drive shaft and obviously 
our rear axle differential, all that is not stock and we've got a lot more travel. So we need a longer drive shaft, but we really only need the stock drive shaft to get us through today. We just want to get through this testing. So while I do think that even a new support bearing is not going to solve our problems, it will hopefully get us through today. That's all I want. Trials and tribulations on the trails. Sounds good. It looks smooth. Way to go, Zach. After that very fun fiasco, we're back on the road. The drive shaft is held in place currently. Currently. I don't know what that beeping is. Up next, we've got our braking and cornering test. Our new grippier tires should let us stop faster, and our new brakes and proportioning valve should let us do it with more control. If you remember last time, we had a really hard time stopping the truck. No grip, no grip, no grip. So let's see how well this thing performs. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. That bump real nice. All right, let's see how it stops. Let's see, breaking now. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, wow, it slows so good. Oh, yeah, dude. It stopped way shorter than it did on stock tires. That was excellent, Joe. Yeah, that felt amazing. Oh, man, this is so much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, you dude. got all the brakes in the world. No problem at all slowing down. Yeah, I mean, it just bites and dives. Oh. No and as it dives so much, you get even more weight on the front, Dude, even more grip. That was excellent. We could have gone through. How'd it feel? Oh, it's so much better. Yeah, it actually good. slows down now. The brakes work, slowed us down, mission accomplished. But now we got to put these tires to the test. I think it's going to be a little hairy, Joe. Why? What do you mean? Let's go to the riverbed. It's time for our third test, the traction test. The objective is to make it down the creek bed, around the cone, and back without sinking into the wash. Last time we made it pretty far, but as soon as we had to slow down for the turn, we started sinking. And we had to pull it out with another truck. So hopefully that doesn't happen. All right, little traction test, riverbed. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? I'm ready. Woo. All right, just stay on these ruts. Just track. stay on these ruts, yeah. Just keep it down. Just skiing, baby. Yeah. The engine's jumping around a bit. So are my boobs. <laughs> All right, here they come. I hear that V6 screaming. Give her a shot. His brakes are working hard. He's turning. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Woo! Oh, well. <laughs> hey, hey. Stop. Yeah! All right, so our tires clearly have enough grip for this loose material here. I mean, look. Dude, look at this. Just chewed it up. Stock Ranger, we got stuck right about here. Tires sunk in. The rear end got stuck right here, but with that extra ground clearance, that wider contact patch, and those really gnarly lugs on the tire, shoot through this like nothing. It was easy. Brakes, success. Tire, success. Now, test I've been waiting for all day, the suspension. Let's go to the whoops. Okay, belt on. Bash hat on. We tighten this sucker up, dude. Don't kill me. To go. Just don't kill me. Ready? Yeah. Everybody's still checking themselves. <laughs> like, Everybody's <laughs> alone. <laughs> you missed the track there, buddy. Ooh, yeah. yeah, sometimes when you're getting too much air. Okay. Hold on to your biscuits. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, that looked awesome. How'd it feel, Justin? Way better, way okay. better. Yeah, okay. I can't imagine doing that on the stock stuff. It was oh. pretty jarring as is. Oh, Jesus, go oh, good. <laughs> Dude, it's actually very smooth. I'm able to form thoughts. Oh, God. <laughs> they would not have any thoughts. <laughs> that was so much fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's cool as hell. We're just getting started. That's a tiny jump compared to what this thing's going to be able to do. 
<laughs> off-roading is the best. Like, why do anything else, you know? Just go out in nature and have fun and drive fast. Like, ah. Oh. I mean, yeah, granted, we're $20,000 in the hole. Um, and uh, we don't even have safety equipment yet. Uh, harnesses, no, 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 seats, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. a hood, wait, 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 fenders. Ah, right, right. uh, there's still a lot to do. <laughs> okay, obviously the brakes are way better. Obviously the tires are way better. And obviously the suspension is way better. Yeah. But now I think it's time to take all of our little tests, put them all together, and get one big lap time. Let's do it, dude. What'd you do last time? 522. 522. You think we're getting into the fours? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll the only here. negative for us is how much bigger the puddles got. Yeah. But I think we're going to float right across it. Are you ready, Nolan? Three, two, one, go! Yeah. And we're off. All right, on the straight section, it feels a little slow. I'll give you that. Yeah. It's going to need more power. I'll give you that. Yeah. But it's going to be scarier. Okay, first turn coming in. Oh, it's got all the brakes in the world. It doesn't make sense to be able to brake that well. <laughs> Gotta keep on it. You got it. Foot down. Foot down, baby. To the floor. Okay, here we go. Yeah, baby! Yeah! Wow! Now what do you have to do? Now we gotta do the puddles. Oh, the puddle! Alright, you got it. Max speed! <laughs> We're not good! We're not good! Ooh! That was a huge splash! Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's because these tires float, baby! <laughs> Dude, my feet are so wet! <laughs> yeah, here we go! Okay, check this out, Joey. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, and we are across the line! <laughs> wow! That was hilarious. <laughs> How was that mud hole? Oh, we <laughs> Pretty deep. Sounded like you went quiet for a second. Yeah, I wasn't sure we were going to get through. <laughs> but we did. All right, what do you think your time was? Man, I, I hope like in the 440s. I'm going to say 436. Ooh, you're both wrong. You're actually faster. 432. Oh, almost a full minute. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like all you gotta do is completely reinvent the suspension, spend a bunch of money on brakes and tires, yep. and then you'll get better at stuff. Wow. Absolutely. The Ranger's the best car we ever owned. All right, let's not go, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's time to go address the power issue. Back to the shop, boys. All right.